Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you the more structured way to play agents, let's say. It's using a lot more of the new agents. It's more sticking to the archetype, pure agents, you could say. So let's go over how it's different, what it's doing. Of course, we're still revolving around Hyperion, but we're actually using his Sanctuary of the Sky aspect. So to facilitate that, I've added three copies of Sanctuary of the Sky, of course, and I've added two copies of Zeradius because he is a fairy light. He discards himself to search for Sanctuary of the Sky. When he does that, he searches for fuel as a one light fairy monster to banish for Hyperion's effect. And with Sanctuary of the Sky, we're using Hyperion's effects twice, so it's pretty useful. On top of all this, we've just tossed in more Agent Monsters, so of course Agent of Earth is still here, because Agent of Earth searches an Agent and it'll search Hyperion when Sanctuary of the Sky is out there. We also have Agent of Entropy, Uranus. If Sanctuary of the Sky is there, you can just special summon him, then he can send a Light Fairy, well technically an Agent. He can send an Agent to the graveyard, he becomes that level, but you're usually going to use it just to send a Light Fairy to fuel Hyperion's effect. So you special summon him, he's a 2200 on the field. He throws the monster into the graveyard for Hyperion's effect. Hopefully you have another Agent in your hand to summon your Hyperion, and it's easy OTKs. On top of that, we're using Divine Punishment. Uh, it goes great with Sanctuary of the Sky, it's just a super solid negate. Uh, I went over Uranus. So we also have Jupiter, he's of Miracles. His effects are actually pretty relevant with what this deck's doing. You're not using it immediately because it takes some setup, but once per turn you can remove from play one agent monster in your graveyard to select one face-up light fairy type monster you control. The selected monster gains 800 tech until the end phase. You are going to see that in the replays. I use it, it comes in clutch. Uh, the second half, while Sanctuary of the Sky is face-up on the field once per turn, you can discard a fairy type monster to select one of your removed from play light fairies Special summon him. Very useful. You can do that to Hyperion as long as it's banished. So he has a lot of synergy with the deck. He's pretty good. This guy is Mars. He's unaffected by any spell cards. While you control face up Sanctuary of the Sky, if your life points are higher than your opponent's, you gain the difference. And you'll often reach that because we're using Fairy Smile, which gives you a thousand life points whenever you draw a fairy. So overall, guys, this uh, is pretty pretty straightforward. Pure pure agents is actually very strong, very competitive. So if you were lucky enough to get three Hyperion, definitely do what it takes to finish this deck. Get your Zeradius, get them however you can. Look at your uh, tickets, your super rare tickets. I bet you have some. That'll get you Zeradius. Zara Diaz, and uh, yeah, definitely finish the deck, guys, if you've gone ahead and got there. We also have Synchro plays here, as so you can see at the bottom. Uh, Uranus is a special summonable tuner whose level you can completely manipulate, so you pretty much have whatever whatever Synchro you want, guys. I just put the best Synchros in all the tiers. White Aura Dolphin is 6. Our 8s are Scrap Dragon and Archfiend. 7 is Black Rose. 9s are Corian Gandrix and Vermilion Dragon Mech. Very crazy stuff. But other than that, you're really winning without the synchros, so it's pretty cool stuff, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, fighting Paradox Brothers, going second. Let's see what he's got in store for us. So this deck is gnarly going first, it's gnarly going second. First, you obviously want to see your traps. Second, you obviously want to see Hyperions. So here, guys, guess what we're fighting? We're farting. Fighting. I almost said farting. Uh, we're fighting... Cardians. Flower Cardians. So uh, that's a pretty good first turn play to manipulate our drawing power. But I think he chose bottom of the deck, so it was obviously something not very good. Draw to our Hyperion. Throw away our Zeradius. That gives us Sanctuary of the Sky. So we didn't need him for the Sanctuary of the Sky, we just need him in the graveyard. So now we special summon Hyperion by banishing our uh, Earth. So that was kind of a misplay. I could have normal summoned the Earth and got a plus one before I banished her. Obviously didn't need it, but let's say he had a Spirit Career Bone, I did need it. Which, I mean, who runs Spirit Career Bone Cardians? But yeah, I get it. But still misplay. Should have got the plus one, there's no reason not to. Okay, Bandit Key. Go in first this time. 
Let's see how that works out for us. He's using balance. So that most likely means tri mints. We have a nice balanced hand ourselves. We get our sanctuary of the sky. We get a special summon, probably one Uranus. That's all we really need. Probably should have used his effect to dump a uh, monster. There's no reason not to. Probably would have been a better play. So that's just another misplay. Uh, tons to learn with this deck still, obviously. And lots of depth. So it's a really strong deck, honestly. If you got three Hyperion, totally build this deck. Uh, agents are totally worth it. So I'm going to special summon Uranus again. Now I'm going to dump Mars. going to banish the other Uranus that got destroyed. To normal summon the Hyper or special summon the Hyperion. I don't burn the resources to use his effect because I wouldn't be able to kill anything. He would block them from destruction or block the field spell. So here, he's uh, getting all his field spells swapped out. He's got to search and he got a special summon right here. So I made I do make a misplay. It resets my attack. I should have attacked this guy to uh, force his field spell effect instead of that guy. Because he still had the ability to throw his field spell away. He doesn't anyway though, so I guess it's not really a uh, misplay. Here he sets a back row, tries to use Trident Dancer. That's when we use our Divine Punishment. I had opportunities to use it before, but I waited to use it here. We only want to use Trident Dancer. So, now he has to swing. We're not taking any damage thanks to Sanctuary of the Sky. We gain a thousand life points pulling Jupiter. Now we we'll use our Hyperion's effects. We're gonna destroy that back row. Turns out to be a Trident Pulse. Let's go destroy our Hyperion. We're gonna normal summon Jupiter, use his effect, banish Uranus. Now we're 2600. We swing over him, no problem. He sets a back row. We top deck Zeradius. You can normal summon him a 4 star 2100 as long as you have Sanctuary of the Sky. So that was more than lethal, guys, and he has to scoop. Great stuff. Okay, going second. Gonna win a dual level off this Ishizu. Let's see what she's got. So, perfect hand. All we need is an agent to get started. We're fighting aliens. Very smile, we get our Mars. Or sorry, that's Jupiter. Jupiter's my favorite planet, too. So, Jupiter's gonna swing. We get hit with the resell combination. That's good, though. We don't want to bring in our Hyperion with all this madness. And have the Hyperion get Brainwashed Beam. So we wait on the Hyperion. Bring out the Jupiter. He gets Brainwashed Beam, our poor Hyperion. We still have our Divine Punishment to stop an effect or spell a trap. Guess which one we choose as our opponent Synchro summons a Golgar. Tries to use Golgar to return our Sanctuary to the Sky. That's going to trigger our Divine Punishment. Poof, there goes his Synchro. All he has is our monster now. We're not afraid of our monster. And we're not going to leave him behind. We're going to get our monster back. He's a bro. He's one of us. It's the Agent of Miracles. Just told you Jupiter is my favorite planet. So we're going to normal summon Earth. That gives us Uranus. We're gonna special summon Uranus. Throw away Mars. Get rid of Earth. Banish Mars to destroy the brainwashing beam. That gives us Jupiter right back. And we didn't even need him. Swing with Uranus. So we saved our homie and swung for lethal. Very appropriate turn, guys. Okay, Esperosa. Sorry, not Rosa, Esperoba. Esperosa would be a whole different sister character. So here we go. All we need is Sanctuary of the Sky. We're just gonna normal summon Mars and set our Divine Punishment. It's not live, you need Sanctuary of the Sky for Mars to be live. So this guy's Cyber Edge. He gets his cannon, normal summons his edge. Super edgy, sets one back row. Ignores poor Jupiter. No one wants to fight Jupiter. Gets rid of a Ling Ling. Unattack. Hey, look at what we top deck, guys. Heart of the cards. That's how you do it. We had five copies of it in the deck. We pull one. Special summon Uranus. Throw away Earth. That makes him become level two. Two plus four is White or a Dolphin. Now we're gonna have his attack. He uses a World Legacy Clash on. Cyberdark Edge to 
avoid me cutting his attack into half. So he puts his attack to 800 to avoid it going to 1200. And now his monsters, you know, that was a bad play all around. But I divine punish it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now we banish Uranus. Bring out Hyperion. Swing for a nice, smooth, easy lethal, guys, while his monster is banished, never to return to his side of the field. Okay, fighting an Odeon. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Going second. That's very good. The stack isn't handicapped one way or the other. So here he uses Ledger of Ledger Main. Normal summons Amazon of Swordswoman. We get our Fairy Smile. Divine Punishment. We don't have our Field Spell though. But we get a 1800 Jupiter to swing over the Swordswoman. Do damage to ourselves. That's okay. His ledger is almost going off. Sets one card. Normal summons another swordswoman in attack mode. We get fairy smile. We're gonna just tribute summon our Uranus. He's gonna throw a bad aim and destroy our divine punishment. It wasn't live anyway though, so let him destroy it. That bad aim would have been way worse than Hyperion or something. So now we can use Hyperion's effect to destroy her and swing for a nice easy lethal before he even got all those banished cards back guys. So as you can see, this deck is incredibly fast, this deck is very resource efficient, this deck has counter plays, this deck has first turn plays, amazing second turn plays, it has synchro plays. Agents are real guys, agents are going to be something you're going to see around. If you already got the Hyperions, fill it out with the Zeradias however you can. I don't really know how you get it. I think you can only get it through tickets if you don't have it. So check all your super rare tickets. Keep them around. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.